Every year at the beginning of summer, I like to go on a raw cleanse, eating only raw fruits and vegetables for a week. But this year, I wanted to do something totally different, something experimental. So I went an entire week eating only bananas. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I did it and what my results were, just in case they're not what you were expecting. So first up, how did I do it? Well, it wasn't easy, but we had to keep at least 50 bananas on hand at any given time. And here on the countertop, you can actually see we had close to 100 bananas at one point. Every morning, I would wake up and blend a smoothie of just bananas and water. Sometimes I'd add a little bit of cinnamon to keep it interesting, but it was just a banana smoothie. That got me through the morning, and then for lunch, I would basically just graze on bananas the old-fashioned way by peeling them and eating them all afternoon. For dinner, I used my trusty Yonanas frozen dessert maker with frozen bananas to make banana ice cream. I'd also add spices, usually cinnamon, to this as well to keep it interesting. And unfortunately, most of the time the ice cream was already half melted by the time I ate it. All right, obviously guys, this is a really bland diet, eating only bananas, only one kind of thing for an entire week. So for that reason alone, I don't recommend it. But also, it's not complete nutrition. And I'll show you what I mean by that later in the video. Before we dive into the nutrition though, let's look at what happened. I started off this experiment at 183 pounds and expected to lose quite a bit, but instead I got on the scale on day 7 and I was at 181.5 which is only about 1.5 pounds of weight loss, a lot less than I expected. So the question becomes how much of that was muscle and how much was body fat? Unfortunately my scale used to read body fat percentage but that feature no longer works so I just have to guess and quite honestly I don't know by looking at this picture so let me know in the comments below. Do you think I lost body fat, muscle, or both? On day 6 I recorded part of my workout to show you guys that really my strength was unaffected by a banana only diet for a week. As you can see here, I'm repping out pull-ups on my outdoor pull-up bar in the backyard. And typically, when I'm eating a normal diet, I'll get anywhere from 12 to 15 reps on pull-ups. And you can see here, uh, if you want to count along with me, I'm at 11, 12, kind of feels like Sesame Street here, 13, 14, and do I have one more in me? Let's see, yep, I got 15 reps. Actually, my strength and endurance seemed unaffected. My muscle ups were still on par with where they should be, and my skills like handstand, L-sit, levers, dragon flag, were all the same as when I'm eating a typical diet. So although my crazy banana only diet wasn't ideal for body composition, it really didn't seem to affect my strength or endurance. In fact, my endurance was through the roof. Here's what a typical day looked like in chronometer. You can see I had 26 bananas on this day, and that equated to over 2,700 calories total. I got only 33 grams of protein, which is almost exactly one-third of what's recommended for me to build and maintain muscle mass. So that's really not a lot of protein, and surprising that there's that much protein in bananas. Carbs were through the roof at 700 grams, and I think that's why I had so much energy, and my endurance was just incredible. I felt like I could run forever when I ran. And then going down here and looking at fat, you can see I only got like 10 grams, and that's alarmingly low. If I kept up this diet, I'd probably become deficient in the essential fatty acids. Scrolling down here to the vitamins, you can see B vitamins weren't too bad, actually. None of them are too low. And my B12 is zero, but that's expected. I do take a B12 supplement, and I continue to take that throughout the banana diet. Looking at the other vitamins, my A was a tad low, but not too bad. But really, it's the vitamin E and K that suffered the most. Those were very low compared to everything else. And I do take a vitamin D supplement as well. Then, scrolling down to minerals, you can see that there's quite a few gaps here. My calcium was very low, so that's not a good thing. Uh, got plenty of potassium, though, and all the other minerals are, are good. Except for down here, looking at selenium, sodium, and zinc. Those, all three of them were pretty low. Especially sodium at only 2%. I had almost no sodium. 
So even though I wasn't getting enough protein, I'm actually about one third the recommended amount of protein that I need and not enough fat, I was still able to maintain my strength levels. My physique didn't change too much. And I think that's a pretty good testament to the fact that our bodies are highly resilient, all right? They're really forgiving and we don't give them enough credit. So if you're the kind of person that counts macros and you're trying to hit your protein for the day or even meal to meal, don't worry about it so much. If you miss it for one day or one meal, your body's not gonna start wasting away like immediately. I mean, I was getting all my protein just from fruit and I survived, I was fine, no big impact. Now, if I kept eating this way for an extended time, I'm talking like into two weeks or three weeks, I definitely would have started to lose muscle mass because I just wasn't getting enough protein. My body would eventually have to start sacrificing that muscle tissue. So. For that reason, I don't recommend this. If you want to do a raw cleanse, which is really good for your body, I recommend eating a wide variety of fruits and vegetables, okay? And include some nuts and seeds too. Not a whole lot, just a small handful of raw nuts will give you some of that fat and protein that you're missing. Why do a raw cleanse? Well, I like to do it at least once a year because it just sort of helps clear things out. It's like an all-natural enema, okay? And for those of you who've never done it before, when I was eating uh, a lot of meat in my diet and then I went to a raw cleanse immediately from eating that kind of standard American diet I couldn't believe I'm talking like like seven more than seven days into eating raw I was still eliminating a lot of the animal-based foods so because animal-based foods are lacking fiber they actually sit in your digestive tract for a really long time I'm talking upwards of of seven to ten days they're sitting in there just rotting and fermenting doing a raw cleanse like this is just a good way to sort of flush things out reboot your body give it a fresh start and on top of it some of the latest research is showing that the microbiome the, the bacteria in our gut uh, all that good bacteria a lot of it comes from plant-based foods so by focusing on raw plant-based foods you're actually replenishing that microbiome and rebuilding it with the right bacteria Believe it or not, there were a few upsides to eating this banana diet, okay? And, and these, aren't, these don't make it worth eating this way. I just want to mention them though. For one, it was really cheap, okay? I was able to go to the grocery store and for about seven or eight dollars get plenty of bananas for the entire day. The second thing that was really nice was that I didn't have to plan any meals, right? I mean, yeah, I had to prepare the smoothie and freeze some bananas. Actually, my wife froze all the bananas for me. She kept me in supply of frozen bananas for the ice cream. So that was good. But I didn't have to think about what I was going to eat. I just knew I'm eating bananas. And I guess a third upside to it is that it kind of reminded me that I need to be grateful for the just immense selection of foods that we have nowadays. I mean, we can go out to eat at restaurants, we can go to the grocery store, and you just have countless uh, combinations of different meals that you can prepare. And I think we kind of take that for granted. You know, we, we just every day we eat what we want and we often eat for comfort and luxury and forget that, you know, our species a million plus years ago or even just thousands of years ago, we didn't have those choices. We just had to eat whatever was on hand. And if that was bananas, well, then you were eating bananas. All right, I know this video wasn't necessarily helpful, but I hope you found it a little different and entertaining. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and maybe share it on social media or something so everyone can know that if you need to survive on just bananas for a week, it is possible and I'm proof of it. And if you like learning about nutrition, doing different experiments like this and body weight fitness, make sure you subscribe to Minus The Gym, my channel, and tap that bell icon so that you'll get notified every time I upload. And I'll see you in the next video.